Charterman, 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 They look great. No, no. They, they, they both look absolutely fantastic. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Avengers Infinity War Wave 2 Call of City and Build a Figure Waves Malekith. If you're trying to pick up this set, you can order them right now at Big, Big, Big. Get your big, badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Oh, another Malekith figure. Okay, I have the SDCC one. We'll see how this one turns out. Anyway, on the side, you can see a nice image of Malekith looking very mischievous. And then on the back, you can see a product shot. There's a read-up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. And there's the other figures from the wave. We get Malekith again right over there. We get the spot varnish at the top and not much more at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Malekith, the dark elf out of the packaging. Not looking too bad, but at the same time, I'm not very excited for this figure because it's just a repaint of the STCC exclusive with a different left hand. So this video is mostly going to be a comparison video, uh, but it's still not a bad looking piece at at all and I do like that weapon so good looking sword so let's get a closer look at that and then we'll get a closer look at this version of Malekith man here's looking at the sword and it looks pretty good I like that gold handle right there nice bright gold color and then we get a nice gunmetal gray color on this thing looking pretty cool a little extra bit of plastic right there in that rivet a little irksome but other than that I think this looks great yeah I like it and comparing it to the version that came with the SDCC exclusive you can see it's a much brighter silver color and the handles uh, more or less look the same. So here's looking at the Malekith head sculpt next to some images I found online of Malekith the Accursed and it looks like the most common character design I see for this is actually how he looked with the SDCC exclusive colors but with this particular head sculpt on there. So I'll show a head swap in just a moment but just looking at the paint apps for this face I do think they look pretty good. There's a little bit of black paint missing right there. I'm aware of that but I really like the head sculpt a lot. It's the same head sculpt as we'd seen with the previous version, but I do think it looks mostly pretty good. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the teeth right there because you could see a whole lot of gums and that always kind of trips me out. You ever see like a really hot chick and then she smiles and then she's got like hella gums instead of teeth? <laughs> oh, that's just a thing I'm not into, man. I wonder if that's a fetish. Anyway, looking at the back of the head right over here though, uh, I do like how that blonde hair came out. I mean, especially as I darken things, I think that looks fantastic. A little bit of blue pieces around here, like uh, there it is, a little bit of little paint smudges, but mostly looking pretty clean and then to compare to the SDCC exclusive you could see as the white hair right over there so yeah I do like how the paint apps came for this just a little bit better I do like this one a lot more but just to show that head swap which you can do of course it's the same figure right one thing that irritates me about this retail version is that the disc hinge for the neck joint is red I wish they had used a blue piece of plastic instead like how they did with the SDCC version it actually works pretty well though the blue tone right here is a little bit lighter on this retail version compared to the STCC version. The skin tone is just a little bit darker, so it doesn't match 100%, but yeah, no, it's not awful. But I think this is the most comic accurate looking version of Malekith that we can get right here. So anyway, switching the heads back and looking at the rest of the figure, I gotta say it looks pretty good, you know, not looking too bad, right? It's pretty much the same exact thing as the other version, just uh, with a very dark red instead of black. And again, I did see more images where it looked like this was black rather than a very dark red. There's two of them right there. I do like that on the STCC we get the gold on the belt and we get these little details right here with gold on the pouches. We do not get that kind of treatment right here with this version. So while Hasbro you know, did re-release a former exclusive, that exclusive still has characteristics that are fairly unique and I think you know more desirable than the retail version. So he still has that peg hole in the back. You can see the skirt right there. I do like that they tried to get this lighter red paint in those knee joints. You can see on that lower knee joint, it's a lot more thorough. On this side, you can see it's eh, it just stops right there with that darker color. So it didn't go all the way through. This must be a fairly complex figure to paint, maybe. 
I don't know. Then the biggest difference aside from the paint apps between these two is this left hand, which has a thumb stuck to the index finger, which always irritates me. I do prefer this wide open hand much more. I think that just works with the character a lot better. I like that. I know I've reviewed this figure before, but to go through the articulation, you can move his head upward just that much and down that far, you get side to side motion. You can see that whole collar thing moves with it. Uh, you get a little bit of head pivoting right here. The left shoulder will move outward just that far. I feel like I can get the right shoulder moving outward a lot more so. You can get the shoulders moving forward and back. You get a bicep swivel in there. You get great double jointed elbows. And then both wrists hinge, uh, swivel side to side and hinge up and down. You get the ab crunch forward, ab crunch back, waist joint, hips move outward that much. He can kick forward, back a little bit, upper thigh cut, double the joint and knees, calf rotation, angles move down. They do move up a little bit and he does have ankle pivot. Now to measure out this Malekith figure, you can see that he's standing just under seven inches tall. And then for your Malekith comparison, you can see the retail version right here next to the STCC exclusive. And yeah, I just like the STC exclusive more. I'm curious to know which one of these two you prefer. And then comparing this Malekith figure to a comic version of Thor, we have the young Thor figure. And then here's Malekith next to the only other two figures from this wave that I've already reviewed. We have the Thor from Infinity War as well as Black Widow from Infinity War. And then here's the Malekith figure next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. So dark elf, huh? What does that mean you can do, huh? What, what do you do? Whoa! All oh, right, I look awesome! Ah! Oh. oh, darn. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching my video, especially those of you that watch all the way from the beginning to the end, and it does help a lot when you hit that like button as well as when you leave your comments. And please subscribe if you haven't already, as well as hitting that notification bell. And this actually ended up being a full-on review, so eh, not too bad, huh? I do like that I am able to have this figure hold his sword with two hands, so that's one thing that this figure can do that the SDCC version cannot do. And it's tough for me to give this a sud rating, because depending on my situation, it really changes the way I feel about the figure. For instance, if I had never picked up the STCC version, I would definitely pick this up. And if I didn't have enough space to have two places for Malekith, then I wouldn't really want to get this at all. You know what I mean? So I do have a place for this guy in my dork room, but at the same time, this is not a figure that I've been looking forward to at all. I mean, I like my STCC version more. So it's pretty tough to give this a sud rating. Thus, I'm giving it a sud rating of... I'll wait for the Black Friday sale. Which I think is fair. You know, because I would want a second Malekith for a discounted price because I already bought one. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think of the figure in the comment section below. If you'd like to see a photo gallery of images, you can check that out at shardmasprime.net as well as the Legendary Collector t-shirts. And don't forget to follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. It links to everything I talked about in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! <laughs>